In one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can configure your Velocity 1 flight system to manage an aircraft with two engines. But what about if you've got four engines? In this video, we're going to look at how to do that. Let's roll the intro and then let's look at how to do that. So let's look how we can configure or reconfigure the Velocity 1 flight system profiles to control all four engines, right? Both on the left and on the right side. And there are two options. To start with, we're going to the settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse the profile which I configured for the uh, two engine or twin engine aircraft. So what you need to do is, of course, search for that profile first. In my case, it's called custom MSFS two engine. And then I'm going to press this option and say duplicate. Now, if you don't have this profile or didn't watch my previous video about how to do that, you can still watch it because it should appear now on the top where you can have a look at uh, that video. So you're at least, I would say, in sync where we are currently. So custom uh, MSFS, uh, four engines. And then do the same thing for, the, uh, for this one. It's not strictly necessary to do it here because uh, if you would only change the airplane's controls that should be enough because it are airplane controls right it's nothing else it's not say to control the uh for example the views or something else uh, custom msfs for engines um, type it correctly and again don't select these buttons unless you want to use this configuration as the default or you want to apply to all the aircrafts, which I don't think you uh, want to do. Now, as you can see here, I made a typo, right? I forgot to add the uh, minus sign. So let me double check if I also did that for the other ones. Uh, no. So what I need to do is rename it. That's also something which you can quickly resolve by simply clicking the profile and then say rename. Then you need to move the... Uh, the weird thing is that you really need to do remove all the text. Uh, engines. Uh, but that's likely has to do with something either on my system or it's a bug in Flight Simulator. I'm not something sure about that. Now we configured everything. And if we would leave it as is, that would result in the following, right? If we go to the throttles, uh, we can see that we uh, can control the engines, but only engine number one engine number two and engine three and four are not configured so one of the options is to use leveler number two which you can see in the top of the screen for both a total one axis but also for total number two axis so i'm going to change it right i'm going to say move it over and now you can see that there directly is a conflict with this one the total number two axis but hey that's okay we don't need to worry about that the same thing can be done for throttle number uh, three. However, we're going to use leveler number three, right? Makes it most sense. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, throttle axis number four. Also do the same thing. So once you're done, you can, of course, go back to the aircraft and then look inside to see, okay, hey, how does it work? Well, let's see. This one works, but you can see it moves two engines together. And the other one also moves two engines together. However, we've got the advantage that we can still, let's say, move around the flaps, right? Uh, that's, I would say, the advantage of this setup. But what if you want to make this a little bit different? For example, think of a scenario where you really want to control all four engines individually. That also can be done. To do that, we're going to go back to the settings. And in the settings, we're going to go again to controls. And then we're going to search for throttle, right? Again, different compared to what we did earlier. Then we're going to reconfigure throttle uh, one axis to the left leveler, as you can see in the top screen. Leveler number two for this engine. It shouldn't be required because it's already set up correctly, but I'm just doing it, let's say, to be 100% sure. Throttle number three axis and throttle number four axis. Now you can still see that there are some conflicts, so likely we need to, say, double check some things because there are some things likely wrong. Right, so let's do that. So let's go inside the gear and then see uh, condition and condition leveler. Well, that's not something we want. So we're going to delete it, hit back, and then uh, also go to this one. Um, let me double check. 
is correct. Yes, still correct. Always double checking the configuration. Uh, and then we're going to remove uh, this one by removing the spoiler, right? So that's something which you need to keep in mind because what we now did is we actually removed two functionalities, right? We can't control the spoilers as well as we can't control the uh, flaps anymore. So what we need to do is we need to configure that a different way. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for flaps. And in the flap section, you will, will see that nothing has been configured here. But what we could do is we could use the decrease and increase flaps. So let's use the uh, decrease flaps, button number uh, seven, and uh, button number eight. But there's still some conflict, so let's resolve them. It's auto start engine, doesn't add any value, so we're going to remove it. And same one is for this. We're going to also say, hey, let's uh, get rid of the engine auto stop. And then the flaps are working correctly, right? So if we now go to the aircraft, you can control each engine individually, one, two, three, four, and you can uh, control the flaps using the uh, other buttons, right? Here you can see. And it depends on if you want to have button number seven to decrease the flaps and button number eight to decrease the flaps. It really depends on what you prefer uh, to have. But now we still have an issue, right? Because we don't have those spoilers uh, configured. So let me show you a trick what you can do to mitigate that issue. So first of all, of course, you need to search for the spoilers. And there you will find the spoiler axis, but that's the one you don't need to change. What you need to change is you need to increment and decrement the spoilers. So what you could do in this scenario is press two buttons. Yes, two buttons. Because it's also supported in Flight Simulator 2024. So I'm going to press this one and then I'm going to press two buttons. To see which buttons I have used, this is the configuration, three and five. But again, it's up to you what you prefer. And same thing can be done for the other one, button number, uh, what is it, six and eight. <laughs> and this is how we can add additional functionality uh, to our profiles. So what we done now is we kind of say, well, we corrected the configuration, but we still have the flexibility to move around four engines individually. That's really cool, right? Now, what do you think about some other options? Some other options are the following, right? We now use two buttons. But what if I would tell you, you could even use three buttons or maybe even more to control, say, certain buttons? Because that's also possible. Let's have a look at how to do that. We're going to go again to the settings. And inside the settings, you can go to the controls again, and then you can find another option. So let's see what would be uh, useful. Well, for example, the propeller axis, right? The propeller axis, that's one thing which has been assigned in this case to uh, L, X, S, Y. But what if you don't want to use this one? Well, what you could do is in this scenario, you could say, okay, hey, the propeller axis, I want to use three buttons. In this case, uh, we need to remove this setting, of course, and then change this one, right? So I'm going to show you only because in this case for this aircraft, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to show you that you can also use three buttons, right? Now I'm going to press three buttons. So here we've got, uh, I need to do it correctly. And now we've got button number one, three, and five. As you can see, uh, you can also do it like this, right? So you don't have to press all the joystick buttons at the same time because you can also easily switch on or off this configuration here. For example, if I would do it like this, then you only need to press button number one and five. So make it yourself easy, either press all the buttons or use the controls on the left side to change the configuration. In this scenario, I'm gonna remove the configuration because it doesn't make, doesn't make any sense for this aircraft, but it's up to you if you, of course, want to do it. So with that, we're at the end of this video where we mainly looked at how to configure the Velocity One flight system to control a four engine aircraft like this C-17 Globemaster. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider also watching some other videos on my channel about Flight Simulator 2024. And I hope to see you back next time.